Ottawa Police Service sacrifices one of their own in massive vaccine death cover-up. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. True North tweeted out this story today and as a retired police officer, it really struck home because I can empathize with what this detective is going through. And this could be a massive cover-up. In fact, it may be a cover-up of really the crime of the century, but we'll probably never know. Back in January of 2022, one of the detectives on the sexual assault and child abuse section, a Helen Gruse, I think that's how you pronounce her name, started investigating a possible link between COVID vaccines and sudden infant death syndrome. She noticed that there was a two to three fold increase in sudden infant death syndrome since the vaccines were implemented. She also noticed that several of her colleagues had experienced heart issues after receiving the vaccine. The Ottawa Police Service had a meeting, a town hall style meeting with the membership and the brass, and she brought these issues up to the brass in this meeting. She also subsequently sent an email out to all of the personnel at Ottawa Police Service expressing her concern over the vaccine mandate and the possibility that it could cause health issues and wondering whether the Ottawa Police Service would be covering the expenses and looking after the members if they had health problems after receiving the vaccine. She also approached some of her supervisors and was spitballing ideas and theories about the vaccine and the connection between sudden infant death syndrome. And she mentioned that if she could establish a link, it's possible that government officials may be guilty of criminal negligence causing death because they were promoting this vaccine as being safe. I find that particularly interesting. Could that statement by her be construed as a possible threat towards government officials such as, oh, I don't know, Justin Trudeau? Before she was able to continue her probe into this, she was placed on leave for refusing to get the vaccine. And then subsequently, she was suspended for conducting an unauthorized investigation and interfering with another detective's investigation. Apparently, she had called the mother of a SIDS victim and inquired as to her vaccine status. And this was all happening around February the 4th, 2022, which is very interesting considering what was happening in Ottawa at that time. So fast forward a couple of years. She's now back on the force and in robbery section, and she's going through service court, a service trial. She's been charged with discreditable conduct. One of her colleagues, interesting enough, threw her under the bus in his testimony, saying that her email sounded like a manifest for the right wing. Now, what I find a little bit disturbing in this is that whenever somebody doesn't agree with a conservative, they always call them right wing as if they're a right wing extremist. In actual fact, most of us are more centralist than we are right wing, but it does speak to the mindset of these people who are calling us right wing. So in her defense of interfering with another detective's investigation and into conducting an unauthorized probe, she referred to Sir Robert Peel's nine principles of policing, specifically that she should uphold the law without fear or favor. She went on to say that she thought it was her duty as a police officer to step in and investigate when she saw that there was a situation where she needed to preserve life. So that would be the, her probe into the vaccine and possible links to sudden infant death syndrome. Should also be noted here that before this incident and since this incident as well, she has received outstanding performance reviews. So let's recap. One, a police detective notices a two to three fold increase in sudden infant death syndrome after the vaccines are rolled out. Two, she takes it upon herself to investigate a possible link between the vaccines and the increase she is seeing in sudden infant death syndrome. In other words, she does her job. Three, she is aware that several of her colleagues have suffered heart issues after receiving the vaccine. Four, she brings this to the attention of the brass. Five, she openly states that if she can prove a link between the vaccines and the increase that she has seen in sudden infant death syndrome, that may be an indication of criminal negligence by the government officials who are promoting the vaccine and saying that it is safe. Six, she is placed on leave, subsequently suspended, and then charged with 
discreditable conduct and brought to service court. Now, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I've received my vaccines and a booster, but I don't think I'll go for any more because I've heard about all of the negative side effects. And I'm worried that maybe someday in the future, something might happen to me because of receiving these vaccines. Now, who do you suppose was most adamantly promoting these vaccines and saying they were safe? Oh yeah, it was Trudeau. This to me sounds like a cover-up and possibly malicious prosecution, but that's just my opinion. I'd love to know what you have to think down in the comments below. And while you're down there, please like this video. Share with your friends and on social media. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And before you go, there is a link in the description and in the pinned comments for your convenience if you'd like to sign a petition urging Mary Simon, the Governor General, to dissolve Parliament and call an early election. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.